Came a long way from Jack and then Rob made sense to look taller. I was always a problem. How people be always talking about all uh, these young niggas be bringing this stuff to the internet, you know, bringing all this stuff to the internet and stuff like that, you know. They put it on the internet so we can blog about it, but you know what I'm saying? Like, by them being wrong by putting their stuff on the internet and their business on the internet, you see a reason to blog about it because they already put it on the internet. You're a blogger. So, the same content we talking about is negativity, you know what I'm saying? A lot of black content, he shot this person out of that. So they bring it to the internet, the persons that are doing it or whatever. So you a blogger, it comes to the internet, you blog about it. So you re-spin it, put it in another ad rhythm so smoke kids can see it. They done brought it to the internet already. So you a blogger, been blogger, so you put it on your platform and make more people see it. You know what I'm saying? So they did wrong by bringing it to the internet, and then you did wrong by exploiting it, by, you know, sharing it and printing it, bringing it and putting it back out there, because you really don't have to blog about it. It's a whole lot of more stuff going on in the world you can blog about. Being outdoors, however you want to say, I'm outdoors and all this shit, all kind of stuff that's getting way more views than what we're talking about. It's a lot of platforms, black platforms on YouTube that talk about and reshare this negativity and talk about our culture need to stop this and stop that, but they be the same one trying to gain and get revenue off our culture too. Cause if all this stop, what they gonna blog about? Cause as of right now, the only thing they blog about is that and say, hey, we put it on there. So they blog about it. So if all that sees and stop, I guess they go to blogging about, you know, not racist at all. They go to blogging about white stuff and all this and all that fishing, camping and stuff like that. Because camping and fishing videos, all that, get more views than hood stuff, period, on YouTube. So if you in it for the revenue, I'm trying to see why you don't aim your page through a positive revenue and, and something, you know, out your, you know, out of bounds for you, you know, get out your, you know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to say this, this, and this, and this, and that about the black community, stop that we're killing out. Man, stop sharing that shit. Stop blogging about it. Stop giving it attention. If they bring it to the, if they bring it to the internet, you don't got to exploit it. You know what I'm saying? If somebody's selling sex and they bring it towards you and bring, you don't got to exploit this shit. You don't got to blog about it. You don't got to, but you see his revenue coming behind it. You see people paying attention, so just, you you one of the same people. You doing it how they doing it for clout, you doing it for money. Money, clout, all this shit run the same. It's a lot of stuff out there you can make money off on YouTube, blogging about, that make more money than talking about hood stuff right now. It's a whole lot of stuff out there that you can blog about and make more money and do way bigger things on YouTube and sit around and talk about hood stuff with your little 30, 40, 50,000 subscribers, under 100,000 subscribers. People's out here with YouTube pages been bumping for two years, camping and doing this, got millions of subscribers. Not just camping, just doing different stuff, man. Putting out, you know, doing different things. It's a whole lot more you don't gotta blog about it. You don't have to. You don't gotta blog about negativity. You can keep your page positive. You can see it come to the internet and say, you know what? I ain't, finna, I ain't finna explore that. I ain't finna, I ain't finna make a blog about that. And Julio got killed, all right, he did. I ain't finna blog about it or talk about it. I don't even want to spin that narrative on my page. I don't want to, I don't want to continue to, you know, make it worse. Because if I got 10 people tuning in on my page, blogging about, you know, coming to see my page, and I'm talking about it too, I'm adding on with everybody else that's talking about it. So I'm contributing to the exploitation, period. So I'm just gonna leave it alone on my page, but I just feel like I had to talk about it. Like, comment, subscribe, follow my page. I just wanna, I'm gonna be on, I'm, I'm gonna be on, every now and then, I'm gonna get on here and talk and, and give a little understanding about just trying to get you a revenue or just trying to say you trying to do this and say to watch it, you talk to them, watch these bloggers y'all follow. They say people bringing it to the internet, this and that, so they blog about it. You know, they we, we bloggers, we this and that, but you can pick what you blog about. You can pick what you blog about, but what you blogging about and what somebody brought to the internet getting a lot of attention. So you want to jump on that bandwagon. It is negativity. You don't have to. That's all I'm saying. You don't have to. If you say you this person and you a different person, you're not like that. You got kids, you're living a life. Well, why export take negativity? You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't got to export.
negativity on, on your page to make money because everybody clearly see on YouTube you can make money exploitating positivity. Just talking about positive, make more money. Y'all stuck in this little old, y'all stuck in this little, in this little zone, in this little level where y'all heads just brainwash with these girls and these peoples in y'all chats and y'all stuck in this little old, this little, this little, you know, can't go. You ain't boom. You know, you doing your little old smile interviews and shit, but you ain't boom. They boom in they pockets with positivity while you half ass exploiting negativity, blaming it on the people that's bringing it to the internet. Then you share it along with the rest of the goofies and y'all all become goofies because you can explore positivity. You don't got a blog about it. If you say I'm a different person, I don't do this, I ain't in the street, well, why talk about the streets and why explore it on your page then? Leave it alone. It's energy, bad energy. Leave it alone on your page. Why even talk about it? Because it's a little revenue behind it. You doing it for the little revenue that come behind it. You a blogger. You want to talk about it. You from the hood. You this, you that. But I'm positive. I'm good. I'm not this. I don't like it. I don't. Come on, what is it going to be? Just leave it alone. It's negative. Stay with positive. Make it simple. Don't be trying to be in the negative shit and support negative stuff, blah, 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 blah. They're trying to bring down our positive in you and spin in there. We need to stop the violence. The streets is going to play out. Let the streets play out. It's going to play itself out. People's killing all this shit going to play itself out. You can't stop it. It's been going on in life. It's about survival. It's people out there broke. It's some people that don't got places to stay. Some people got jobs. Some people got little jobs. Some people got good jobs. Some people got jobs. They spend their money. Some people got good jobs that don't know how to save. Some people got good jobs that paying all their bills and still want to smoke a little marijuana, a little bud, still spend their money in the drug world. They got people that's not doing nothing. There's people that's robbing. There's people that believe in crime. There's people that don't believe in crime. There's people that's out here raping. There's people that's out here molesting. There's people that's out here bombing. There's people that's out here asking. There's people that's out here that need help. There's people that's out here mentally fucked up. There's people that's, how you gonna fix all that? By just saying, let's stop the killing and put the guns down. No, you can't stop, you can't fix all that by just saying, let's stop the killing. It's a lot going on in this world people need to pay attention to. With mental health, everything, it's all combined. When it's out there in the world, it's all combined. You never know what you're running to. It's nothing to stop. It's called be safe, be careful, be cautious. That's what it's all about right now. You can't stop nothing. It ain't going to be a better place until a place become a better place. <laughs> At this point blank, a place got to become a better place before you make a place a better place. A place got to become better. This shit, this shit coming to us. We ain't making guns. They dropping them on us. They bringing them down here. They dropping them in the hood, dropping drugs in the hood. Come back and knock down a thousand dope dealers saying we killed. We, we knocked the big hole in the drug organization in Atlanta, blah, blah, blah. No, you didn't. You need to go after these cartels. You need to knock the head of the snake out. Busting a bunch of niggas in the hood for shooting and drug dealing ain't stopping nothing. That's what y'all don't know. The government doing it just for y'all to see. They go pop a hundred niggas. Y'all need to stop selling dope. It's wrong. But it's getting flooded down here. It's getting flooded down here. Private is happening. No jobs. This felonies. Motherfucker wonder why people's in motel rooms. You got black men out here right now with five felonies. He can't walk in a front office and get an apartment or a house. He got too many felonies. He need a woman to do it for him. Or pay extra. He get lucky if he able to get accepted with a bad felony on his record to have an apartment or a house. Yo, it's a back. It's called background check. Goofy, goofy. I can have a hundred thousand dollars with a bad background. Won't be able to get nothing. Goofy. You get it? That's why people need females and getting CPMs, getting all this because you need help. Sometimes people need help. They probably changed their life and got a good job, but their background showing that they was in jail for aggravated robbery once before. We don't want to give you this apartment. Your background show last 10 years you had a feeling. Take that to consideration. But by you being so goofy, why people's in a motel room? Cause you goofy. Your mind is narrow. You don't understand what's going on. That same person probably had a thousand houses, thousand. You don't know what's going on. So just stay out of people's stuff. You ain't got nothing good to say. Don't say nothing at all. Stay out of people's problems. Live your life. Stay out the way. Be safe. Try to be a better person. Pray. Raise your kids. Be that for your kids. Think twice. Don't wear your emotions on your sleeve. Don't let your heart get you in trouble. Be a solid person. Think positive and stay positive and preach positive.
and show positive and explore positivity and yeah, everything will be positive. Shout out. Follow Came my a long way from Jack and Spicy. then Raw, man. Since a little taller, I was always a problem. Hey, now you my partner. You hang with the oppas. I got me a lawyer. You